Welcome back everybody, my name is DJ Technic ZRT, and I want to go through a bit of news yesterday and what it means to the zombie community as a whole. As we all may know, Xbox has been notorious for getting the Call of Duty DLC early. This was mainly based on projected sales and how the 360 dominated the market last console generation. Releasing Call of Duty DLC first on the 360 was a no-brainer. This would mean more revenue for both parties involved based on sales in the United States. However, for the past two years, we have seen a huge shift in the gaming community. Sony's PS4s are nearly, if not doubled, the sales of Xbox One. This is mainly because of the initial price differential and the DRM fiasco we had a couple years back. Since then, there have been an incredible spike of PS4 sales that seem to grow exponentially. Because of this, there was an early rumor of Activision striking a deal with Sony. This could have made the most business sense because Activision and Sony could inherently sell more Call of Duty content and simultaneously sell more PS4 consoles. Last night after Call of Duty was a no-show at Microsoft press conference, which is unheard of, Mark Lamia and David Vondahar came out on stage and addressed that they are partnered with Sony and Andrew House had announced that Sony would be getting Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC early and the PlayStation was the new home of Call of Duty. Here is my opinion and outlook on all of this. It absolutely sucks for Xbox owners. I know plenty of people have purchased an Xbox One because that is the system they have grew up on playing Call of Duty and the whole series. I was planning on buying an Xbox One this year before Black Ops 3 because I'm a huge zombie fan and nobody likes to be left behind during the DLC storylines. I am here to tell you that businesses like Treyarch, Activision, Sony, and Microsoft are all about making money. They are all in the business to create a profit for the company. If this means to shift content over to another console, then so be it. They don't care. I understand we all were hoping for console parity, but as I explained before, world peace for major gaming companies will not exist. Competition is always healthy for any sorts of company because it fo forces both parties to improve making their machines more superior than the other. This is not about one console being better than the other. Both consoles are great and I believe that Xbox is actually trying to be more innovative than Sony could ever imagine. But this is all expert marketing strategy. Why would a video game company release DLC first on a console that has sold less in the United States? It just doesn't make sense. This partnership makes the most business sense. I know a handful of close friends that are now purchasing a PS4 because of the DLC content coming first to Sony. I want to know how big or minute this will honestly shift current Xbox One owners to trade in their console for a PS4 just for Call of Duty since Microsoft has lost a partnership. If there is a slew of Xbox Ones being traded in, the, de the demand will fall, which means that the price and trade-in value will fall as well. This is Economics 101. Right now, currently, as of today, the trade-in value for an Xbox One is $175 in the United States at a GameStop retailer. I honestly would like your guys' opinion. Are you going to trade your Xbox One for a PS4 or just buy a PS4 separately again with your Xbox for the Call of Duty DLC early release dates? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you leave a like. My name is DJ Technic ZRT signing off for now. Follow the research on Twitter at Bashar Zanal. Subscribe now.